Welcome to the Swim Swim Podcast. I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. Joining me today, they are back. Swim Swim co-founders Mel Stewart and Braden Keith here to give you the full 2021 Olympic preview from Tokyo. In days four and five of the eight day swimming program for the 2021 Olympic Games. We're going to start off with day four. The first final of the day is the women's 200 freestyle. This is Ledecky versus Titmus, round two. Katie Ledecky, Ariane Titmus going at it once again. I, from recent results, this obviously favors Titmus, who has been 153, while Ledecky has put up a 154-4 U.S. Open record in April. She went 154 high, I think, at trials. Um, what are you guys thinking about matchup number two? I think we've missed the, the defending world champion, the two-time defending world champion. Um, the many-time world champion, Federica Pellegrini, uh, who is sort of like, I, I equate her to the Simone Manuel of the 200 free, where she's not always, I mean, she's got the world record, but she's not always going to swim the best time, but she just keeps winning, and we keep not picking her, and she keeps winning. Um, and she seems kind of out of it, though, so I think realistically it's, the two swimmers you said, I really like Shaban Hahi. I think Shaban Hahi is just like a runaway freight train right now. Um, it, anybody who, who, you know, not a lot of people follow Hong Kong swimming, but anybody who does knows that almost literally every time she's raced in the last two years, she's broken a Hong Kong national record. Um, and she was so close at Worlds to a medal. Uh, I'm going to call the upset. I'm going to call the upset for Siobhan Hai. It's, it's more local for her. She spent much of the, most of the pandemic in Hong Kong being trained remotely by Rick Bishop, who was her coach at the University of Michigan. Now he's back together with them. He's in Hong Kong now. He can help them fine tune sort of the last, the last few things they need. Um, I'm going to call a big upset here with Siobhan Hai, and I'm going to leave Mel to choose between the American and the Australian for silver. I, you know, I got you. You, totally, you completely confused me on that because you're like, we never pick Federica Pellegrini, and then you just, by the We're way, you didn't gonna. pick her again. <laughs> That's correct. You just, That's you see, what you, I do. You're like covering your behind. I'm just telling you. That's that exactly right. At thir- at 32 years old, with 1.3 million followers on Instagram, I was trying to show you what 1.3 million followers on Instagram. She's doing this one for the grain. I don't. I think she makes the podium. Uh, this is, uh, this is Titmus. Titmus, Titmus is going to, is going to go 152. Ledecky's going to do a solid 153 and she's going to come in. Uh, she's going to pull up silver. Pe- You're Pe- saying Pe- Titmus Pe- breaks a world record? What's that? You're saying Titmus breaks a world record? I think no. so. You don't think so? No. 152 no, world record is, world is record. not going down. No. Okay. Okay. So no, no, I just, she, she's, hang on a second. The world so record is 152.9, and you said she'll go 152. I think she's 152.8. She's breaking the world record in this event. Okay, maybe. She's coming on. She's coming on. Right, someone has to call a world record. That's my world record. I'm calling it. We're going to talk about my, uh, Christoph Milak later, and, uh, and we're going to do the, the switcheroo on you, but I'm calling the world record in this event. Hold on, Mel. Nope. Let, me, let me clarify. If, you're, if you call Titmus gold who is your silver uh Glodecky. and you think and you think pellegrini's bronze and you think how he's off i think i think old age uh, old uh, old age destroys youth and enthusiasm i think pellegrini has a big flex and makes the podium just for the gram and mel who do you think the youngest top eight seed is god you I don't know man. because you don't have the olympic guide open I it's do have. I do have the, you, you're just plugging the Olympic guide over and over and over. Just so you, just so That's for correct. anybody listening, you you get the enjoyment of reading the Olympic guide. I get the enjoyment of being the swim swam cashier 
and marketing person selling the Olympic guide. So two different. You got situations. To, you got to know your product, man. Uh, <laughs> Yang Yang Zhengshan from China. I'm positive I butchered that name. Is the only teenager in the top eight. She's the fourth seed. Again, we I think we consistently in the United States, ignore the Chinese in these conversations because it's kind of a black box. They're swimming. They don't, they don't make the information available to be able to follow what they're doing. And we can cynically discuss why that might be um, with regards to their, their doping history. But the reality is that, that they're at the meet, they're swimming. And when you are focused on sort of world swimming, you can miss them a lot, but they do win medals. Um, you know, they show up every time and win medals. And so as the fourth seed, as the youngest swimmer in the top eight, she's only 19. Um, we can't, we can't fully ignore her either. This is going to be a good race. 19 is yeah. a good age to win medals. Chances yeah. that I could get a practice in pancakes in China. Anyone want to guess? Percentage? <laughs> 10%. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead and not fund that. So <laughs> enjoy. If you, you can right. pay for that yourself, Coleman. I'm on my own. What are Chinese yeah. pancakes? Anyway. <laughs> probably no. very thin. Really thin. Okay. Anyway. Made, made out of potatoes. <laughs> Race number two. The second final of day four. Men's 200 fly. Now, you swam the 200 fly at a mediocre pace once. What do you think? I can't believe that you didn't go to Braden first. I can't believe you're the it. expert on this event. I, this is the only event I'm going to you first. It, it, it's. I mean, here's the thing. I have no opinion on anything, even on my own 200 butterfly. I. I don't. Here's, this is my feeling. Uh, this is the race where we might be seeing one swimmer swim, and like they're the second, the silver and bronze medalists aren't aren't on camera. But I don't think it's going to be a world record. I don't think that he has to break a world record. Um, I do see a solid swim, but I, I, I just I, I think he he could be as slow as a, a second off, and it just doesn't matter. Um, he's so fast. One side story I have to do. I have to I have to say this: when he went the one fifty, I called up all past uh, elites, NC two A champions, former Olympic gold medal Tom Mauchow. Uh, Davis Tarwater, I called him up like as soon as that time dropped, the 150.7, and said, and no hello, no nothing. I just said, I just found out that you're slow as F, and uh, I just want to be the first one to tell you that you're slow as F in the 200 butterfly. And there was like silence, and then it's like, oh, it's Mel. <laughs> so, and, and then there, there was another long pause, and they're like, yeah, you are too. Uh, so let's see here. I must feel pretty bad. So you think he doesn't he doesn't break a world record. He doesn't need to. You think he's going to save up for that 100 fly and try and try to push to wrestle? I, is that I, what I, you're saying? My opinion is he, if, if, if you're here's the thing that 200 100 fly and 200 fly are two different animals. And uh, and and if you're resting for if you're if, if you're going to rest for a peak 200 butterfly, your 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 taper is going to be a lot different than your rest for a 100 fly. He's got the 200 fly in his back pocket. I think he focuses on the 100 meter. I think he's a real threat to Dressel. Um, I'd like to think that Caleb Dressel is going to do something stupid. Someone, one of our commenters said, oh, Dressel's going to go a 48-9. Well, I, you know, I'd love to see that. I also think that he could be fighting for his life for, uh, to, to, to fight off Kristoff in that, in that event because this guy is going to be closing so fast. Um. In any event, I'm, I'm, I, I think the 200 butterfly as, as a whole, it's like we have these, we have this outlier performer. And then as, as um, after him, it, I just feel like the rest of the world is, I just expected the 200 fly to be much faster, you know, 30 years after I had retired. I'm surprised. So you don't feel much, any confidence that if Malak is a second off his world record, that Daya Seto can run him down. Seto... 154 in 2018, 153 in 2019, 152 in 2020. Before the scandal. Before no, this, this scandal, for those who don't know, Diaceto was photographed by a tabloid with a woman who was not his wife, which in that country leads to a suspension from the national team. Um, he's now training himself. Um, but you know, he's back and he's, he's able to race, but he went, he went 152.5 in January in 2020. 
um, you know, pre-scandal, it would be hard to say confidently that he wouldn't have a 151 in him. Um, we don't really know what he's going to be now. If they get up on the block 10 times and swim 10 200 butterflies, uh, Mylak would just be like, um, I'm going to put you on my hip and keep you there because I just can. He's that much better. No. If Seto's it's in a home pool. What if, what if they let the fans back in? What if they let the fans back in? Then does Seto have a chance? I, okay. I do believe that we always see the home country. We all see, we always see their athletes perform. We see them mm. swim, be, you know, out of their head, out of body type performances that, that are extraordinary. And uh, I think that's possible, but I, I really don't think they're going to have fans. I don't think that I don't think we're going to, I think that by the time we roll into the Olympics, I think this is going to be the weirdest, clunkiest, most awkward Olympics. And our stories are going to be, you know, how the, the team managers and coaches are, are trying to, to, you know, hit the cowbell, you know, ring the cowbell to, to create energy. No, I, I see you're pushing me. I, I see you testing. I am your, I'm Mel Stewart's brain. I see you're trying to test me on it. Not Do working. we think they're going to pipe in noise? Do we think they're going to pipe in crowd noise for this? God, I think, I think crowd noise is just, it just feels, it feels like you're a lab rat. It makes a difference, I think. <laughs> I think it helps on TV. I think it was rough yeah. at the beginning, but they've gotten a lot better at it. And NBC is doing it for the Premier League soccer games. So they know they've got the, the formula perfected. And especially with like the cardboard cutouts too. It's like those, those things, like you, you come to, you, on TV, you're like, okay, that's kind of cheesy. And then you come to trials and it's like, okay, these things actually work. <laughs> yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, I see it. What, 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 okay. One team USA moment, Zach Harding, make that final boy. He's got to make Zach that Harding. final. I'm a big Zach Harding guy. I, I, I would, I would, I'm, I'm a, a sentimental favorite. Would love to see him. Would love to see him swim on the big stage under the big lights at night. He's got that race in him if he keeps his head in the game. He's but he's he, this, it's, it's, it's a big ask. I think 154 medals. I think, and I think he can go 154. Uh, I think, I think, I think 154 bronze. Mel, I'm with you. I think Milak has such a mastery of this event that that's it's done and done. I think Daya can get silver for sure. I think, I think Daddy Daya is gonna gonna take 400 im on day one and get his gold for for home tokyo that i don't see it in the two fly yeah i don't think it's gonna be competitive i mean those are the top two and then there's a lot of 154s so yeah nobody's gonna pass those two all right moving on to women's two im do we think there are what kind of form are we gonna see katinka hozu in you know, Katinka has, she's been such a good swimmer for so long, um, but there have been chips in her iron armor the last year and a half, two years, two and a half years, whatever you want to set the timeline at. Um, but she's also so smart. And I think, you know, no swimmer, I'm sure Mel can attest to this, no swimmer likes to acknowledge when they're, when they're losing it. But I think she's smart enough to know where she's at right now with her training and everything else. And I think she's going to dial back her schedule. I think she's going to swim two IM, four IM, um, and I think this two IM she knows is her best chance at a gold medal. Um, so I think this is probably where her training is going to be, what she's going after. Um, McCune is going to be very good, but you know she's she's going to be very good. But this is probably also not her focus race. Um, Alex Walsh, Abby Wood has had a really great year from the UK, Sydney Pickram, who, who seems to keep landing on podiums, but we kind of forget about her. She doesn't feel like she sort of has the pop to challenge Katinka. Um, but this is, I think this is going to be the, the meat defining race for Katinka. And in some ways this is going to define whether Katinka peaked in 2016 and, and with Shane Tusup and, and everything we know that went down there, or if, um, if Katinka can do it on her own, if Katinka can do it with her coach, with her dictating her own training, this race is her chance to prove that she can coach herself to an Olympic gold medal. And so that's a, that's a big moment for her. And I think she goes for it. And I think she squeaks out a win. 
Big takeaway here is that I thought Shane's last name was spelled was, was pronounced Tussup. It's not Tussup, it's Tusup. I've been calling this guy Tussup for years. Tussup with the man bun. I think it was Tussup when he was a swimmer, but now that he's a golfer, it's Tusup. Th- thank you for clarifying that. Yes. I appreciate that from the, the machine. branded thing. He's rebranded. He's rebranded. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to see Katinka win this. I, 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 I like the, I like your, 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 your thought process on it. Uh, Pick, Pickram makes the podium again. We always forget about Pickram. She makes the podium. Here's the deal. Um, if Kylie pops and Kylie moves into that thing where she's going to have that spit, that, that, huh? Kaylee. Kaylee, Kaylee, excuse me, Kaylee. Kaylee McEwen. If Kaylee McEwen yeah. pops and she moves into that space where she's on and she starts winning, your brain rewires, and they, I, I think we're going to see her. I, I think we're going to see a lot more gold out of her over and over and over. She does the night of the two IM final. Oh, is nothing else? Never mind. No I, I, so um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know her personally. And I've never, never been in her space, had a conversation with her, picked her brain. Uh, it, it's all been research and data from swimming stats, which I'm staring at right now, Braden. And, uh, but I'm going to I love her. when you talk swimming stats to me, Mel. <laughs> <It's, it's, laughs> dude, stop it. Uh, I think she wins. I think, I think Katinka fights, fights to win here, but I, 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 think, I don't think she can get past the, the 20 year old from Australia who's going to, I think this is going to be one of these things where, we, where she, she marks history and this is going to be her Olympics. What about Anastasia Gorbanko? I, you know, I think it's worth spending 30 seconds talking about her because of everybody in this field, she does not have a weakness. And she's, another, she's the 12th seed. She's another one of these swimmers that has, just goes the best time, it seems like, every time she swims. And it seems like it's all been towards this moment. She's been 209.99. So if we think a 208 mid is going to get bronze, I think that could be one of these sort of, you know, our readers will know her, but I think that could be an out-of-nowhere story at this meet where, where she gets ignored on the NBC broadcast by our friend Rowdy and then winds up with a medal. She's not going to get ignored, buddy, and here's why. David Marsh. I know, I know what you're going to say. David Marsh is on staff, <laughs> and Rowdy Gaines and David Marsh are like, I mean, these guys. If they weren't, if they weren't married, that they, they, that it might be a relationship that that is that that we see and appreciate on deck. These dudes are close, and um, Marsh is Marsh is. Uh, I don't even know what his title is. What is his title? He's the he is he's the advisor to the national team he, I, of he, Israel. To be clear, of Israel. Yeah, of, yes, of, of Israel, right. And it was he's something the he's been done for a long to time. He's the regional manager. <laughs> so, so I, 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 I'm, on board, I'm on board with you, Braden. I think if someone pops uh, from the Israeli team in, in this event, yes, it could be her because of the Magic Man Marsh. Not sold on Gorbanko yet. I, I, I am sold on her short course. In ISL, it is undeniable. She, has, she was a force. She made a difference. She was breaking records left and right. I, I just don't think we've seen from her long course enough yet to to convince me. Yeah, she could, she could medal. I think she could final for sure, and especially in the tuner that I am. She had medal. a good meet at Euros. She had a good meet at Euros. And I, yeah, I I hear you. I I just don't think yet. She's only going to be seventeen. I just don't see it yet. I think there's. I think that two I am field the 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 top end is too much. Moving on men's four by two what the heck is going to happen in this race do i have to go first uh, yeah you. it's not the tuner fly so you do um i don't know man i think the u.s misses the podium <laughs> um i think this is i think this is the most dangerous race for the u.s um men or women men or women Men and eh, mostly men, men or women, but mostly men. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think Australia looks really good. I think Great Britain with Tom Dean. I think Tom Dean is a star. He just seems cool as a cucumber. He doesn't seem to give in to the moment. And I think those British men kind of have this, this whole like lads thing going on um, where, you know, they're just going to be totally comfortable. They're going to show up expecting to win that race. 
Um, and it, it feels weird to say, but having two 144 flat starts is probably enough. And they have two 144 flat starts. And this is, this is that race. We always talk about it. The 200 free feels like it should be going on getting faster and it kind of isn't. Um, but I like, I like the UK in this race and I then think Australia and Russia in that order. I like the UK. I, Great Britain. UK, definitely the gold. And, and here's why. These guys do the Swim Swam podcast all the time. You text them. You send them a message on WhatsApp. They're, they're dropping out on the Swim Swam podcast. They unpack this thing. They will, they, they, so it, we're, I'm a little bit biased, but only because they're ready to talk about this race and they're ready to, to, to talk to us about this race over and over and over. But, Can I digress from this a little bit? <laughs> It sounds like Mel is kidding. However, here's a story for you. Juicy Cizal, who, for anybody who doesn't know, she leads our Italian language site. She's a superstar. I wish I had a hundred of her. She has been told by people within the Italian Swimming Federation that they, in part, credit their improvements in the last four years on her launching the Italia site and the motivation that that has given younger athletes and the, the focus and the ability to watch their competition. So it sounds like Mel is kidding about this, but there are, I, I won't name names, but there are powerful people in swimming who honestly believe that there's an effect of that, that, that athletes who are more engaged in the, the broader ecosystem as young teenage athletes have sort of a different build, a different mentality, a different approach that pays off for them when they get to their full speed. Uh, David Popovich. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you blow up chlorine daddy on IG and he's like, Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Here I am. Yeah. yeah. Here's practices coming up. You want to talk? Let's talk. I, yes, he knows everything. He's talking to everybody. And, uh, Maggie McNeil. Maggie McNeil Maggie is a, an, a, a fervent reader of the print swim slam magazine. If her magazine is two days late, she is on the phone with Mel saying, where's my magazine? So, so this, but, but we, we got to say this, this sounds really self-serving and, and, but what, what you're, what you, what we're really saying here is if people are engaged and they're aware of what's happening in their ecosystem and they care and they care about other people uh, and they care about their competition on the far flung side of the world, what they did on their third 50 split of a 200. For some reason, these athletes, when they start doing this young, yes, they pop later on. They develop fast. All right, men's four by two, bringing it back. UK definitely wins. I was making a joke. I appreciate you pointing out the fact that my joke wasn't really a joke. Uh, uh, UK gold, Australia silver. U.S. bronze, uh, R Russia, they're left out the party. They're sour. They get the wooden medal for fourth place. The Russian Olympic Committee. Excuse me, the <laughs> Russian they, Olympic Committee. As they will henceforth be known. Yeah. Um, and they, is, is the guy who just got suspended, Coleman, fact check me. I need, I need my producer on this. Is the guy who just got suspended, was he supposed to be on the 800 free relay? Uh, Russian swimmers, Alexander Kudashev. And Why you, while, while Coleman's doing Kudashev, that. Kudashev was entered in the 200 fly, 155.4. Uh, he was also scheduled to swim the 200 free. Oh, sorry. That's the, the woman. That's a female. All right. Maybe that's a non-issue. So. We yeah. can edit that out later. Thanks, Coleman. Yeah. Pick it up with the next race. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, man, I had a point. Anyway. All right, moving on to day five. Women's tournament or fly. I, the, the big story is not who's going to win here, but the fact that there's only 17 entries in this event, one of which is Katinka Hozu. And the, uh, the I'm sorry, the, the women's tournament or fly semifinal will conflict with the women's tournament or die final. So we can say with confidence, we don't know 100%, but does not seem like Katinka will swim this, will swim the full event, meaning there will only be 16 swimmers. Thoughts on that? Mel, why, why is the younger generation afraid of the 200 fly? And shake your fist while you explain it to us. 
You want me to have a boomer moment. That's what you're trying. You're trying to rope me into a boomer moment. And it's, uh, so I'm going to go there. Here's the deal. If you want to swim the 200 butterfly, you're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to put the work in. And I'm a little bit concerned that it's, it, yes, I, this, 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 when I see that only it, in reality, only 16 athletes will be competing at, at this level. It, it makes my head spin. I'm furious. I want to yell at someone. Uh, I, I scratch my head about this event because I, I grew up in an era where, where I watched Mary T. Maher go to the 205 96 wearing basically a Lycra suit and Speedo sprint goggles with gaskets uh, and a rubber cap. And then I watch every single Olympic trials and Olympic games. And I, and she's, she's always on the podium. Her time always puts her on the podium. So many years after she did that, I started to gain some hope in this event. Um, because it's, uh, I really, I really thought Reagan Smith was going to pop and I think she's swimming great. I think this is a, a solid, you know, ensemble piece for her, her backstroke talent. But I, when I saw Haley Flickener uh, move to swim with Bowman, I'm like, look, if you're going to go, tr- you know, ha- you, everyone can have their own opinions about Bowman and say, oh, he's just, you know, he's got Michael Phelps, mm-hmm. but he's developed a lot of talent. But in terms of like this, where his expertise is, it's four and three and 200 meter butterfly. He knows how to do that. I want to see, I, I would love to see Haley win. I would love to see her win. I think she's got, the, I think she's got it. I think she's got that race in her. Um, I think Bo Glarka is going to get second. And Zhang Yufei will be third from China? Bronze. Bronze. So no Reagan. Leaving Reagan off the podium. I, th- I think I, th- I think Reagan, Reagan's going to be. She's going to have that fourth place wooden medal, and and uh, you know maybe she'll live to to develop this another day. I, I'm I'm okay with that order. I think the winner probably does not go a best time. I think this is going to be a slow race, and whoever has the best race wins it. And I think that's all we need to say about it. I think people moving. fall asleep during the tuner butterfly, and it always made me upset that I wasn't a fifty or hundred freestyler. But I do, I do think this is a, um, this just feels, but 200 butterflies always felt like a, it's something you should, it's like, a, this is what you do in practice, but we're going to go ahead and make it a race. So to, uh, to really drive Mel's point home, we're going to end our conversation there and move on to the men's hundred free, the real race, potentially the race of the century uh, <laughs> with Caleb Dressel kyle chalmers and now youngster 17 year old david popovici 16 year old i'm sorry david popovici this is very reminiscent of of the last race of the century that was only 17 years ago and to that the men's tuner free in 2004 when we saw a prime ian thorpe a prime peter van and hugen band and an ascending michael phelps uh, as well as a prime grant hackett and yeah so many other names all in the same heat Men's Hunter Free, what do, you, what do you guys think? Look, when Popovici did his thing, I love Popovici. Popovici's got a great future. We all know these things, right? I don't think he's going to follow up a 47-3 with a 47-0. I just don't see that progression. Um, I still think this is a Dressel Chalmers race. I think they're both swimming well. Um, I think Dressel's going to win it. I think this is his Olympics. This is his moment. This is his his, his one shiny moment it won't be his last Olympics, but this is the one that is going to make him a semi household name. Um, and I think Dressel wins it. Um, I think then it's just an absolute dog fight for third between the two Russians. Um, Alessandro Moresi from Italy, Zach Apple, if he's having a good meet could get in there. You know, there's a lot a big battle for third that nobody's going to be paying attention to. Um, unfortunately, because it's going to be really kind of an interesting battle because there's so many guys that look like they have 47.4, 47.5 speed, but 47.4, 47.5 speed is not 47.0 speed. And those, for, you know, for Papavici, those last three tenths are going to be harder than the second and a half that he just dropped in a year. It's, you know, those three tenths are the hard three tenths. So what is it? Uh, Forty six nine one, the world record. 
mm-hmm. from Cesar. Super suited. Dressel dips under and wins. Uh, he barely. I I think he's. I I think that we're going to watch this race and think, oh no, Kyle's won it, and we're and we're going to have that blinking eye moment, and and it's going to be like Michael Phelps and Hunter Fly, where it's like, oh, Michael won. I think it's going to be that tight. I do think that that Chalmers is going to surprise. Um, I think Pop you think been, so. You think Dressel is coming back on Chalmers no, 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 rather I, than I, vice versa. I think uh, Kyle Chalmers is going to be is going to be chasing him down. To okay, the, and run out of room. Touch, yeah. When they touch yeah. at the end, I think it could be that tight. Uh, Chalmers scared. Here's the thing. I'm I'm a little bit biased. I want to see Dressel win this thing. I'm I'm, I'm I grew up in the United States. I'm a U.S. Olympian. I want to see Dressel win this. But I, I, Chalmers scares me. That kid scares me. He, he has health issues. He has problems. He goes off and plays with his lizards and critters. And but he always comes back to the pool and delivers. And he For does. Those keeping track at home, and, and if you watched our first episode, this is now. I think Mel has U.S. at two gold medals and Australia at about seven. Um, but when he talks to his Olympic peers, it's going to be U.S. at about. 26 gold medals and Australia will be off of the podiums on day five. <laughs> so, okay. So here, here's the thing. Here's the deal. Russia doesn't make the, doesn't make the podium. Papa Vici makes the podium. Papa Vici is going to squeak it out. He's going to win a medal. It's going to look like gold, but it's actually going to be bronze. Dressel. Why? Tell us why. Silver. And, here, and here's why. Here's why. This is why I, I look, I, I understand you have to be a hard ass on this, but here's the deal. You're 16 years old. Uh, you're making big drops. They're consistent. He can squeeze another tenth, and I and I and I do think that that I think of you know I think a 47 low can get you on the podium if you get your hair on the wall. But he you know he already used his haircut, so he can't cut any more hair off his head. Um, that's that's I presume the only thing he did to go from 48.8 to 47.3. Um, so I don't if he is he going to shave his eyebrows? Is that is that how he's going to get the last tenth? I am saying that Popovici makes the podium because we have to have Popovici on the podcast very soon. If someone doesn't pick him for the podium, I don't know if he'll come on. Coleman? The, ne- the next time uh, I talk to Popovici, that's the, absolutely the first question I'm asking him. Tell me about your haircut. Is that why you have 473? Obviously, we know the answer already, but we have to get it from his perspective. I, I disagree with everyone in the room. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to see a world record. I would love to be pro- proven wrong. The history just doesn't doesn't lend itself. The data isn't there. We people go slow in the hundred meter free final at the at the Olympics. Now we are it's posting a, this on YouTube. It's a, it's a pressure cooker. Uh, I mean, people just it, it's. It, I don't think it's going to happen. Dressel and Chalmers, what they did in two thousand nineteen. I think we saw that once. It was amazing for swim fans. Dressel went out. Chalmers caught him. And it was awesome, but I, I just don't see it for this one. And I also don't see Popovici meddling. Again, I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see those three medal because that would really make it like the present and the future. But I think, I, and I wrote this in the comments, I think the waves are going to get to him. He is, he, in that 47.3, he had open water. He was smooth and he's skinny. He doesn't have, he, he barely has muscle. And in that final, uh, similar to 2008, what happened with Elaine Bernard and Eamon Sullivan, Elaine just muscled his way through and Eamon cruised through the semis. And then in the finals, the waves just got to him and he couldn't, he couldn't technique his way to gold. So that's what I see happening in the 100 free. Last but not least, race of day five, the women's 4x200 free relay. Australia, the reigning champions. Do we think U.S. can dethrone them? Who's pop? I mean, you know, you got to think of the U.S. would have to have somebody pop to do it. Um, and who have they had pop to, to that extent? I think, I, you know, I think Simone was the hope. Like if Simone was on and it looked like she could, could offer something in this relay, um, then maybe the Americans could start, you know, I, we were all surprised when Australia broke that world record, I think in 2019, you know, not that they won, but that they broke the world record. That was kind of surprising because that looked like the Americans for so long with the, when the, the Allison Schmidt, Katie Ledecky, Missy Franklin relay was all coming together. It looked like they were going to do 
um, something untouchable, something that was going to stand for a long time. But, you know, the U.S. number two at trials, Paige Madden, was 156. And Australia has, what, one, two, three, four, five swimmers faster than that. So Australia has a prelim swimmer. A pre, somebody's going to be left off of Australia's finals relay who was faster at trials than the U.S. number two. So again, Australia pressures on Australian coaches to make the right choice. Um, it's, it's fun to see other countries sort of have these decisions that the U.S. has had for, for so long. But this, even more than the 400 free relay, even more than, than a lot of races, Australia just seems like their margin is so big unless you know, maybe Olivia Smoliga shows up and does something nuts in the 200 free, but you know, who, who's going to be there besides Ledecky? Who's even going to be a one, a 155 low, let alone a 154 alongside Ledecky? Australia gold, Team USA silver, Estonia wins the bronze. Solid, Mel. Mel, I feel like you might not be taking this event seriously. I'm I'm not taking this event seriously. I, I, I I'm I'm a, I'm I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm pissed off. I'm so friggin' angry that uh, we are not deeper in the 200 meter freestyle. And uh, men, women, it's just to me, 200 meter freestyle is a it's a very painful event. It's it is a it is a benchmark for how hard a nation as a whole trains. And in terms of your conditioning, and I'm just, I'm from a personal guys. I'm a four by 200 freestyle alum. I, I swam this race. I was third at Olympic trials in, in 92, almost made it individually. This is like, this is the, you develop a 200 meter freestyle. If you're doing the work, we should be deeper in this event. So I'm, there's a so, lot of bitter feelings about it. So do you ascribe to this, this idea that there are certain races that the NCAA prepares you well for and certain races they don't, and this is not one. Bruno Fratt has talked about this on, on Twitter where he thinks the NCAA prepares you well for, I want to say the 50 free and long course, but not the hundred free. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe that's what we're seeing. Maybe the NCAA, because we've had all these guys breaking records going unthinkable 129s in the 200 yard free. And they're nowhere to be seen in long course. You can, you, a two hundred yard free is a is is a minute and a half. It is a you, you can fake it. You can fake it all underwater. Uh, you cannot fake two hundred meters. Two hundred meters is pain. Uh, if you're two hundred, if you're a two hundred yard freestyler, uh, you're you're Mappiandi and you went one thirty three. You're Rowdy Gaines who went a one thirty three two hundred yard freestyle in nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty one. They, that doesn't convert to 200 meters. You swim, you, you swim 100 meters. Uh, two, there's something very sucky and painful about the 200 meter freestyle. It kills you. And uh, you've got to be conditioned to swim that race. And I do see it as a, as a, as a yeah, yes, I think the NC2A hurts us in, in, in this event. You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swim Podcasts on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.